Last one I'm going to show you before you do some on your own. Sometimes you'll just have something as simple as this, y equals 6. Okay. So when I go to make my t-chart, this is this seems like it's going to be the hardest thing, but this is really the easiest thing you're going to possibly get here, x, y. Okay. Y just has to be 6 no matter what. So I'm going to make a couple different ones here. So I could do anything, 0, 1, 2, 3. Doesn't matter as long as y is 6. So 0, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, right there. So anytime you have y equals, um, you can just do that. So there's my line there, there's my line there. Anything that's on this line has a y that equals 6, so that would work out. And maybe something to note down uh, if you ever have a y equals, that line is going to be horizontal, okay? which is kind of interesting because the y-axis is vertical, but the line that you get for y equals is horizontal. Now, the opposite. Let's say your equation just says x equals. Let's say it said x equals 5. Now, if all my x's were 5, that means we would have a vertical line. So if it says x equals, then that's going to be a vertical line, which is opposite with what you would think because the x-axis is horizontal. So that might be something to write down just to kind of keep in your back pocket for later because we'll need it. All right, these are the three that I want you to try on your own, uh, and then I want you to come back to the video and check uh, and see how you did. All right, let's come back to this and see how you did here. Uh, so I've got negative 2x minus 5. So if we set up our t-chart and we use the easiest numbers that we can here, okay? So we can use 0. 0 times negative 2 is 0 minus 5, negative 5, okay? And keep in mind, you could have used different numbers if you didn't want to use 0, you didn't have to use 0, but your line at the end still should look the same. Uh, so if I use 1, uh, negative 2 times x would be, or negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2, minus 5 would be negative 7. So 1, negative 7 is going to be down here at the very bottom. I can fit it on there. Uh, and then if we did negative 1, negative 1 times negative 2 would be 2. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3. So if we go to draw our line, should look something like that. Okay, it should be in that general vicinity, even if you have some different numbers over here. Next one. We will set this up here, x, y. Now this one you probably wanted to use something that 2 went into other than 0. So I could use 0 and then that's going to be, oops, forgot to put my x in there. So that would be negative one-half times zero, anything times zero is zero, plus three is three. So zero, three, take it right there, okay? So now, things you might have wanted to try, you could have tried, I'll just do two and negative two, because I know that's something that's gonna work because two goes into them. So if I do both of those, uh, negative one-half times, it'd be two over one, um, and only one of the, I mean, if that was something that messed you up, only one of these numbers is going to be, they're not both, it's not like negative, negative right there. Just one of them needs to be negative because think about it, if they're both negative, then it would actually be positive because negative one and negative two, that would make a positive if we did the division. So think of it about like this. Negative one times two would be negative two. Two times one is two. That equals negative one. And then if we do plus three, that is positive two, okay? So that one goes on there. And then if we do the other one, oh, I'll put that on there, negative 2, or positive 2, positive 2. And then if we do, oh, I did that one first. Sorry. Let's, let's start over here. That one goes there. Because I did, no, it doesn't. Wow, I'm having all kinds of problems today. I used positive 2, which is right here, so that came out to be 2. Okay, I was right the first time. There we go. All right, last one. So if we have our negative one-half 
and we decide to times it by I use negative 2. Uh, let's see, that would be positive 2, and then that would be positive 2, which is going to equal positive 1, and then positive 1 plus 3 is going to be 4. So we should have negative 2, positive 4, and it's going to look something like that. So now when I go to draw my line through here, it should look uh, pretty close to this right here. Again, you didn't have to use these numbers, but I think that would have probably been a pretty good idea. I mean, you might have used 4, you might have used 6. Really, any even numbers on this side would have worked here because 2 is going to go in any even number. All right, last one. y equals negative 3. So I'll set up my t-chart here, and we already talked about before that if it says y equals, that's going to be a horizontal line. The y-axis is a vertical line, but the answer to y equals is going to be a horizontal line. So if I have x and y, it says y equals negative 3. So I really only need about three of these, and actually I really probably only need two, but we'll do three just to keep it consistent. So 0, 1, negative 1. doesn't matter as long as y is negative 3. So 0, negative 3. 1, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3. That's all we need. Now I just need to draw my line, and anything that's on this line will obviously work because all the y's in every single one of these points are negative 3. 9, negative 3, negative 5, negative 3. Everything on this line is negative 3.